Hey everyone, welcome to another episode. My name's Dom Warner. Today we're going to talk about uh, Time Wonderland. So Time Wonderland's gone through some really, 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 really crazy stuff in the last 24 hours. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to do a video on it or not. Initially, I wasn't going to, but the deeper I dive, um, the more information I'm finding, alleged information, I want to say everything in this that I'm going to show today is alleged. Um, uh, or you know, not confirmed um, to the best of my knowledge. Uh, but pretty crazy, pretty crazy stuff. Basically what happened is Daniel came out, um, he's one of the co-founders of Wonderland, um, potentially the founder, if you wanna call it that, uh, in my eyes. Um, basically came out and said, hey, there's some information about who's been running our treasury, um, Sifu. Um, it turns out he is not um, the best guy PR wise. Uh, so we're gonna dive into that and basically what happened. So um, right here, you can actually see um, on Wonderland here, um, Wonderland obviously dipped pretty majorly last night. So this was last night's dip. So we, we had quite a huge dip. Obviously we've had ones in the past and, and then we had buybacks and things like that. And Wonderland has been going through a rough time for probably the last three weeks, maybe even potentially four weeks. Um, but it's definitely, the game's definitely changed now. Um, I have friends who are in Wonderland. Um, they don't have huge amounts of money, but they definitely have a, a vast majority of their portfolio in Wonderland uh, up until last night. And uh, they were probably uh, the most bullish um, on Wonderland uh, in terms of anybody else I knew um, and they definitely believed in the project and believed in the the people or at least the people who they thought that were behind the project um, and then when they said they're gonna sell I'm like yeah well if they're selling everyone's selling um, obviously not everyone has sold but that was that was that was how I determined whether this project uh, how, how well it's going to continue. Um, so let's have a look here. So basically we had um, a, uh, I want to I look at this Reddit post first. So this Reddit post, um, this guy says, Holy Mother of God, Sifu Wonderland is Michael Patron, co-founder of Quad, uh, Quadrica Quadriga CX. So uh, I'm just going to read basically what it says in these different things and add my little commentary here and there. So this guy said, I don't even know where to start. This is effing insane. Um, if you're unfamiliar with quad, quadri, quadri AC, quadra, with Q, uh, this is uh, the Canadian exchange that collapsed in 2009 after the founder, Gerald Cotton, disappeared, supposedly died with his body cremated before anyone had a chance to verify his death with 169 million gone. Uh, it was the biggest exchange in Canada at the time. Um, people back people back then was coming after Michael Patron because of his past as a scammer. He literally is a convicted felon in the US who moved to Canada, changed his name. Uh, his name was Omar Dahini. Now, I haven't done a whole lot of background research on this, so I definitely suggest that you do this as well. Um, basically, Canadians back then figured out pretty much Sifu uh, had more ownership uh, of the hacked exchange than the dead founder. Uh, they basically ran a Ponzi scheme in the exchange after most people lost their funds and couldn't withdraw. The founder strangely disappeared and supposedly died, taking all the blame with his death. Strangely enough, Omar and his wife ended up with the majority of the assets while most of their users uh, lost all their money. I don't even know where to start. This is just insane. This guy's been running the treasury, um, has a long and extensive history with the Ponzi's fraud scams and had plastic surgery to change his face. He also had a history of with money laundering. I can't believe this is really, this reality is stranger than fiction. Uh, and then obviously made a comment on uh, Danny who runs um, Wonderland so pretty crazy stuff like that that just absolutely crazy and people obviously very emotional about this people obviously um, have been caught off guard by this and it's pretty clear that most people had no idea that this was even a possibility um, if we go here so this guy on Twitter um, he basically shared some information um, just I, I believe I believe this was before 
Um, I believe this was this was before Daniel's um, Daniel released the information. So actually, let me check that. I'll get back to you. Okay, so it looks like this was actually released before Daniel uh, made his statement. So basically, this guy said this uh, this needs to be shared. Uh, Sifu is the co-founder of Quadra CX, Michael Patron. If you're unfamiliar, that is a Canadian exchange that collapsed in 2019 after the founder, Gerald Cotton, disappeared with $169 million. I have confirmed this with Daniel over messages. So these are the messages. I came across something rather odd about that, uh, about blah, 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 about Sifu, or, or about, oh shit, what's up? Well, he's the Quadra guy. Uh, I cannot confirm, but I have thought a lot about this. Dangerous to be working with as it's sir. Sir. Uh, yes, uh, but yeah, the problem is in the PR at the point Alex, my partner, told me, how are you going to manage this if it comes out? I don't have an answer. Uh, I can count on a single hand how many people know. Uh, we started this together without knowing. Is interesting you know. I thought he was more careful. I have my ways. It's very elusive, but there's a second part to this. So uh, prior to Quadra, Michael um, helped to run an identity theft ring called Shadow Crew, which he later pleaded pled guilty to, while Danny insists that it's fine that he puts his rep on the line along with most importantly the money that has, has that most people have deposited, deposited in his protocols at risk. Um, that's a good point to make as well. Danny was, and I think one of the reasons why, why a lot of people like him is because he didn't hide behind an identity like a lot of these crypto projects do. He was um, quite open about who he is, but he's obviously very evidently now has taken a risk in doing this. So basically he said, uh, I don't, I feel, I feel that I don't know what to do the I feel like he is a good man. I spent a lot of time with him recently. Do you think I should just get him slowly out? But yes, is my highest risk to my reputation. That's what my PR security manager told me. You're willing to put your entire rep on the right line and also risk everyone's money. No, I'm not. Well, that's what you're doing. Number three, I never thought I would I would have expected this, but I cannot sit on it any longer, especially after the events experienced earlier this week with time. Quadra try, ties back to Sifu ETH. Uh, so basically provided um, this address evidence. Um, really interesting, right? Like super interesting. The information that's coming out is crazy. Uh, what I wanted to look at now was Daniel's Twitter. So if we go to Daniel's Twitter, uh, he had a thread that he went through and he said, hey guys, today allegations about our team member Sifu will circulate. I want everyone to know I was aware of this and decided that past individual, that the past of an individual doesn't determine their future. I chose the value of time that we spend together knowing his past more than anything. You would think with uh, Daniel saying this, that obviously they did have a close relationship or towards the end that they did, or still do, who knows? Um, and that obviously a lot of trust was gained there. Um, so it's pretty interesting. And obviously this guy would never deny who he was, or you would assume so, or otherwise that trust wouldn't still be there as it still appears to be. Uh, part two, Daniel said many people in the world are judged, uh, judged by early mistakes. This comes prevalent. Uh, into the life of ex-inmates that cannot gain access to financial services after being felons. One of the reasons why blockchain technology and DeFi is so powerful is that it has no bias to your past. I have no bias about Sifu. He has become a friend and part of my family, and if my reputation and judgment will be hit by his docs, then be it all frogs for me are equal. As I fight with him, I will fight with everyone else that has proven to me to be a good actor despite the past. I keep looking forward into the future rather than crystallize, crystallize back. I uh, hope you do too. Uh, interesting what he's basically saying, uh, and, I, and I, I appreciate the fact that he's standing by his word uh, regardless of his um, uh, how he's perceived. I think the, one of the major problems though is he, I think he thinks that people are going to think of him as a bad person, and I don't think that is going to be the case. I think most people are still going to look at Daniel as a good person, that he tried, 
um, and that you know he was really passionate about the project. Um, but most people are going to be concerned about his judgment in the future more than anything. Not whether he's a good or a bad person, but more so about his judgment and what kind of background research he's going to do next time uh, in making sure that it's the right management, right? Now I wanted to have a look at Daniel's statement. So Daniel's statement came out roughly about 20 hours ago. He said, Dear Frogs community, Crypto Community, uh, I would like to issue this statement due to occurrings in the last 24 hours. To summarize what has happened, word came out that Sifu has been running the Wonderland Treasury. Pre tre treasury. Previous, previously was co-founder of Quad Quadra CX and has had other occurrences in the past. I found out about this one month ago. I am in, I am of the opinion of giving second chances. I, as I have mentioned on Twitter, I've seen the community very divided about my choice of maintaining him as the treasury manager after finding out who was in his past. Regardless, what has happened has happened. Now, having taken some time to reflect, I've decided that he needs to step down till a vote for his confirmation is in place. Wonderland has the say who merges his treasury, not me or the rest of the Wonderland team. Uh, it is not easy to take these kind of cho this kind of choice choices. Uh, who who know me and had time to listen, follow my journey in DeFi can confirm that I have no biases for anyone. I have learned to give trust to people and to make my own opinions about them rather than just listen to the noise. This has led me to incredible friendships and also dramatic ends, including love stories and friendships. This said, I have to lead this community by example and make sure that everyone can voice their opinions and not make just mine as a given, not just take mine as a given. All funds in Wonderland are managed by a multi-sign, any FUD related uh, that needs to be cut off now um, as they are secured by me and Wonderland team, buyback will still happen and the team is working on deploying products that we have mentioned uh, that would need to be deployed. I hope the community now comes together and decides what the future looks like and who they want managing their money. Uh, I am here as executor and will and always will be. It's a really interesting take, right? Um, I think that obviously in his statement, I think, and I'm just reading between the lines here, I think what he's calling for is like the people that were part, wanted, want to truly be part of the project can now stand up and take full ownership, right? But at the same time, for people who are investing, this is this is pretty crazy, right? And at the end of the day, the people that are the people that are going to have mo most of the voting rights um, have a ridiculous amount of uh, money deposited in Wonderland. Um, now, if we actually go to Wonderland's proposal, which is up here, Sifura's treasury manager, should the the should the founder Sifura remain as treasury manager, or should we look for someone to replace him? All material treasury treasury activity has been ceased until this vote is concluded. And as we can see, uh, quite a lot of the major shareholders have said no, replace Sifu. Um, a couple have said yes, keep him, but the vast majority, it seems pretty clear has said, nope, it needs to be replaced. So guys, I don't really have much more to say than that. Um, I don't know really where to take it from here as well. Um, I think the news is absolutely crazy. I think the information that we just dove down on is absolutely crazy. I think people are making really emotional decisions and how could you not? Um, and, and, and I do think that unfortunately for Daniel, um, his reputation is definitely going to be shook here um, and it's going to take a long time uh, to gain it back. People are going to be very, very sceptical. Um, I am going to be watching Wonderland closely. Um, I didn't have very, I have very, 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 very little invested um, and I have since sold. Um, and I'm not sure whether I would get back in or not. Um, but I'm going to watch closely and I hope for the ones who decided to stay uh, that it does work out. Because uh, it's pretty pretty traumatic what's going on. So thanks for watching guys um, I would say I hope you enjoyed this video, but uh, I don't think it's one to enjoy But I hope it provided you with some insight and some information um, and uh, Thanks for watching. See ya